Hi everybody, welcome back to Black Wolf Gaming. As usual, I'm your host, Sir Wolf, and welcome back to our look at Space Engineer mods. Uh, today I'm looking at one made by Otto McDonough. It is called the uh, Laser Beam System. Um, it's pretty similar to one I've, uh, I have showed off before, except this one actually has uh, conduit and, and stuff like that to run to the laser beams. It's a little more technical for those who like kind of a technical build. And we've got several different... Um, several different uh, types of emitters here. We've got the um, laser beam armored slope. We've got the armored. We've got the armored corner. We've got the armored 45. We've got the full armor. And we've got the armor uh, half slope. Uh, and as you can see here, we've also got uh, armor ends to put on the uh, corner and the half slope to kind of make them, you know, kind of blend it into your ship, make them look a little bit better. These are fixed um really good for uh either shooting off uh, like from a nose or if you're into it maybe a broadside or something like that but they will shoot basically in a straight line uh there's no movement to them um they're also a little harder to take down um over here we have got the um pdx laser uh which i will get to the, i will get to something special about this in a second we have got the uh 45 degree armored slope. We've got the half 40. Uh, we've got the oh, these are gimbaled all the way. Uh, by the way, uh, with the exception of PD, PDX, all of these are gimbaled. So we've got the gimbaled armored uh, 45 degree slope, the half slope, um, the armored slope, the fully armored, and then just the regular gimbal. Uh, they've got a lot less firing arc than the PDX, but something I did notice, uh, and according to Auto McDonough, uh, as far as I know, it's going to be uh, it's it's going to be worked on uh but there is no definite time as to when this particular bug will get fixed the pdx laser does not accept power from the power source so unfortunately the pdx laser is kind of weak honestly um but the gimbaled are really not that bad they're really good if you um for putting on yeah you know, using a lot like the uh the fixed laser beam emitters uh except that they do as you can see move a little bit and they've got like a I think it's a 33 degree cone uh, for its firing arc, where the PDX has a much larger one. But the PDX, like I said, doesn't doesn't seem to accept uh, power from the power system, and I can't figure out a way to make that happen. Um, Auto McDonough knows about it, but he says it's one of those things he'd like to get fixed, but he's not sure when it will be. So keep that in mind when building. Um, kind of stick with the uh, with the gimbaled or the fixed lasers. Uh, but you'll you'll be perfectly fine. Uh, we've got over here, excuse me, the different kind of conduits. We've got the airtight conduit, which obviously is airtight. Uh, we've got the uh, one-time conduit slow uh, conduit. We've got the three-time conduit, which obviously goes three times further. And we've got the 90 degree. Uh, over here, we've got the beam combiner and splitter. Uh, so that you can obviously combine multiple power sources into one to create a stronger beam, or you can, um, you know, have a nice strong beam that gets split into multiple different areas, eh, kind of whatever you want. Uh, we've got the T2 and the T1 power source. Obviously, the T2 makes more power for more space taken up. The T1, less power, but takes up a lot less space. Uh, personally, in some of the test building I've done, I've noticed... Uh, the T2 is really good to put, like, as kind of a power pack in the center of your ship. Um, and what I've done is often make room for a T1, maybe a couple of them, really close to the uh, the laser emitter points as kind of a backup so that if a conduit gets severed or my power system gets interrupted or something, I've got a backup power system so I can provide something. It might not be as much power, but I can provide something. They don't completely knock out a laser without until they knock the gimbaled laser itself out. Uh, but if we come over here, I've got a, a little bit of a test uh, using a bunch of T2s and combiners and a gimbaled laser, as you can see. Um, the more power you have per laser, the more damage that laser does, and the longer it takes for the power to drain uh so there's a little bit of math involved and stuff like that but personally i love all that kind of stuff so i'm all for it um but here we go i'm going to show you guys real quick uh how how the um how the gimbaled 
laser looks when it is firing. I believe it's this one. Yes. Now, as you can see, I don't have much of a firing arc, um, but you don't really you don't really need one. Like I said, it's really handy if you put some of this on like the front of your ship. If you're not going directly at the enemy ship, like you are with the fixed emitters, you know you you can kind of kind of skirt around. Same thing with uh, uh, with a broadside. It will kind of you know you don't have to be dead on. You got a little bit of wiggle room here, but. Go ahead and I will show you guys and bring up my HUD so that I can... Oh, I don't apparently have a crosshair in this. Okay, so apparently some of these don't come with crosshairs. But uh, what I'm shooting at here is, I believe, light armor. And as you can see... Oop, lag. It, it it goes right through. It does. It it just... It, it chews through light armor. Uh, it's actually... It does obviously take a little bit longer to do with heavy armor... Uh, but it is also fantastic against heavy armor. I mean, if you could get a whole bunch of these going with a nice big power source, uh, yeah, no, forget about it. There is, there is nothing that can stand up against these. So these are really handy. They, uh, they are, um, they are survival ready. They do have building, uh, they have uh, building stages and all that. So, uh, I do highly recommend go take a look at this. I will of course have a link to this mod, uh, in the description below. Uh, and I, I, I love this. This mod is absolutely awesome. I mean, it just, I mean, look how much, I mean, I can, it takes nothing to melt away the enemy armor. I mean, let's have, look, in just the time I was talking, look how much of that enemy, arm, enemy armor I was able to, to, to burn away. I mean, and you could, even if the enemy's got, got heavy armor, it's like, you, it would take nothing. You get a, several of these firing at one point. I mean, look at that. I could easily now land, you know, landing troops or anything like that, right in that gap send in conventional weapons, whatever, I can I can now affect the enemy ship much more. I could even, because there's no spread on it, I could even hit, you know, enemy weapons or the cockpit, or I can, I can do a lot of damage with this. Uh, there are small and large blocks available. If I remember correctly, let me go ahead and just double check that. Yes, small and large blocks are available, as you can see. Um, look how cute! Ah, look how cute it is! Um, but they are available in, uh, with all of the lasers, um, all of the blocks and everything. So you could build a nice tiny ship with all of these. You could build a nice big ship with all of them, whatever, whatever your heart desires. Uh, personally, I'm kind of looking forward to building a, uh, sort of a fighter with the fixed laser system, uh, maybe on the nose, in the nose and the wings or something like that. I'm kind of looking forward to that. Uh, I'd probably use the gimbals in, uh, larger ships, more of as a broadside, um, but that's me. Um, obviously, space engineers, you can do whatever you want. But thank you, everybody, for joining me. Mm, excuse me. Uh, I do apologize. It took so long to get a video out. Uh, like I said, I've been I've just been very busy lately. Uh, my recording software broke, but um, I've got new recording software, and I'll be back to recording regularly. So, yay me. Uh, if you have any mods you would like me to review, um, you can leave them in the comments below, or you can send them to me at Twitter. Uh, at Black Wolf Games, that's Black W U L F E G A M E S. Um, you can do that on Twitter. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on Twitter. Like and subscribe on YouTube. It really helps me out. Shows me what video videos you guys do and don't like, and kind of helps me figure out what content to make. Because I'm not gonna lie, I oftentimes sit at night in bed sitting there thinking what am i going to make so leave a comment below with what you guys would like to see um i am doing my regular let's plays all that kind of fun stuff uh i just thought it'd be kind of fun to show off mods and builds and things like that so thank you everybody and i look forward to seeing all of you again in the very next episode as usual i'm your host Sir wolf this has been black wolf games i'll see you all next time